Hello guys. This first one is called What Smack Are You On? You look down on the people shuffling along the street. You're decent and deserving and also very neat. You love the structure of the workplace. It makes you feel so real. Oh no, you're not a slave to a 10 bag deal. You're banging up respect, not wobbling with a polo after doing loads of care. You're looking forward to the next box set coming through the post. Your life is so boring, you're heroin on toast. You slump in front of the TV at least 20 hours a week. Pumping vein after vein with prejudice, you're sadly a system freak. Computer, iPod, you're a virtual clown. The system's got you, can't you see you're a 10 bag of brain? The next thing you can look forward to is Mr. or Mrs. Wright. Another false goal that got you chasing to help you sleep at night. Soon you can be a hard-working family with mortgage card a lot. Your track marks are so boring you've got stomach cramps and snot. The system has banged your every vein, pumping you from childhood, your government pistain. You're propped up by work, possessions and the government drink. You're totally unhappy, they've got you and you stink. How happy are you when the bullshit is stripped away? Can you sit alone at peace and oh so very gay? Accept yourself, learn to love and to play. Don't swallow the anaesthetic of the system and dance in the hay. Thank you. This uh, next one um, uh, is a true story. At the time, I was in the punishment block of Winchester Jail in solitary confinement. John Peel had just died, and uh, I wrote a thing on the back of the wall. And when you're on, um, when you're in solitary confinement, the governor, the governor of the jail's got to see you every day. This is how it goes. It was October 2004. Once again, the governor was at my punishment cell door. He a complete right-wing wanker, a young ex-university whore. Robbins, are you completely mad, he said. A cell tribute to a DJ who's dead. I thought, you stupid fucking twat. You should raise your hat and doff your hat. The word legend is often overused, yet this man was a music fuse, a genuine hero, never afraid to play punk or the blues. Didn't we all love his festive 50 for 27 years? Said with childlike enthusiasm and raising beers. Gave it with both barrels to boring DJs at Radio 1. Using ridicule, deprecating humour and punky fun. Called his missus the pig. The middle class left queued up with a dig. They didn't know why. She snored like a pig that made him laugh and cry. In the 70s he masterly promoted punk, sneered at phony Beatlemania, Spice Girls and so much junk. His all time favourite record was Teenage Kicks, he never reached puberty, didn't want to grow up, that was so sick. Sheila was with him on his final day, a heart, a a heart attack in Peru, he died and he lay. I have no regrets for my tribute in the cell, I wish that governor fucking hell. <laughs> Talking of people with no musical ability at all, this one's called Simon Cowell throwing the towel. <laughs> your Botox face makes me sick, you love yourself, you fucking dick. Feeding the masses with total shit, there's gonna be a backlash, we're we'll rise up and we're here. You're almost as vile as Jeremy Kyle. Cowell, you're a cunt, we're gonna shoot you in the aisle. Your, sh your shiny teeth will crumble with my fist. Are you starting to get the gist? I'd rather have my cock chopped off than watch your show. I couldn't give a fuck that you got loads of dough. Trying to tell the public that this is the choice of the music scene. It's losing your phony appeal. It's fucking obscene. I can't wank off to JLS or Little Mix. I'd rather suck, suck my dad's cock. Your show is such a fix. It's time, Mr. Cowell, to walk the plank. The public is turning against you. You deserve to be in front of a tank. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this next one I wrote uh, in response to um, the government saying it's okay for anybody to get married gay or straight. This is called Marriage is Bollocks, Gay or Straight. <laughs> Control and order the capitalist way will invent marriage, restrict open love all the way. Coming together is really cool. Far more, far more fun on mass at orgies or the university hall. Why do people fall for the big day? And there's always so much to pay. 
insecurities, fears remaining on the shelf, you're now a state puppet, almost an elf. DNA shows we share DNA with all those non-monogamous animals who often are often very gay. Their sexual parameters aren't dictated from above. Big Brother doesn't tell them from birth what is love. The marriage vow words were patriarchal shit, invented by ruling class good churchmen who should have been thrown in the pit. So perhaps marriage isn't only ruling class ball. Maybe monogamy isn't in tune with nature at all. Whatever your sexuality, gay, straight or bi, your relationship won't be stronger by marrying, that's an insecurity lie. Unconditional love is what it's all about. We're made to love many, there is no doubt. Thank you. Uh, in 1995, uh, I tried to kill myself quite seriously, and afterwards I was diagnosed as um, being bipolar. So this is a little one about that. They say I'm bipolar, it's called. Darkness and light, black and white. My mind's been racing and suddenly there's no fight. I've been hyper and pacing and up all night. It's not street drugs, I'm just high as a kite. They call me a whirlwind, they love all the uninhibited fun. But they disappear as I hit the downer, avoid and quickly run. Piggyback on my energy, join in on my rush. But where are you so-called mates when I come to the crush? Yes, the tsunami of depression has flooded my brain. I feel nothing but nothingness, just suicide and pain. I peer out to the window late in the day. I don't belong out there. I have nothing to say. Thank you. A miserable one, isn't it? Uh, some of you are old enough to probably involved uh, in the poll tax riot of March 1990. Um, so this is how it goes. It was 1990, the class were on the street. Thatcher had gone psychotic, her poll tax closed to defeat. Resistance had been built from every city, every town. Confidence had risen, total non-payment from all around. The Labour Party said, oh no, you can't refuse to pay. Just sign a petition, wave a candle, write to your MP today. Off to Trafalgar Square to vent anger from our spleen. We knew the only language they'd listen to was writing as a team. Next day the jails kicked off, prisoners on the roof. Billions wiped off the stock exchange, confidence aloof. Tommy Sheridan's militant went on TV and said they'd name names and fucking grass. Never trust the trot leaders, they'll stab you in the ass. So the poll tax got abandoned, Thatcher kicked off her perch. Eventually we end up with that cunt Tony Blair and the subsequent right-wing lurch. Voting doesn't change anything, there's a rizzle of paper between the lot. Throwing bricks is healthy, but never forget Sheridan the trot. If ever we need resistance, it's certainly fucking now. This is a fascist government full of scum and the highbrow. Time to get out of the safe cafes and get right amongst the class. Let's go and ignite confidence and dump the Tories on their ass. It's not about 1990 or 1984. It's about today and tomorrow. Organise and do so much fucking more. Thank you very much. Cheers.